Hello, I'm John Buckland and I'm here today to show you some of my hot plate techniques. One of the beauties of the hot plate is the fact that you actually can do bigger pictures than you're normally used to doing. With ease. Start off with your sky, the nice light blue. So you can crayon this on. Total control over what you're doing because you can see everything that's in front of you. Blend your sky in with your different shades of blue, just by going backwards and forwards or at any angle that you wish to take it. And as you come down, you're in total control, you can see exactly what's going on. We we'll start off with our hills. So as you've got your, your back heats, your iron slides easily over your support, gives you that nice flow. So there's quite a lot of tinkering to be done, but basically if you start off with a medium heat on your hot plate and a very low heat on your iron, you get a nice blend. So there we are, we've got our hills in now, so we're going to put a lake in. So we'll take those two blues again, put a light blue on first. Again, go just, just backwards and forwards until you get a nice cover in. And then some darker blue over the top. If you find you're not quite happy with it, you can just keep playing until you've got it right. Again, that's probably not quite there, so we'll go once more. Backwards, forwards, so we've got almost our mirrored sky. Now we're going to put our foreground on. So again, just load up your iron with whichever colours you prefer to use. Use our lift techniques. You'll find this is slightly different because this is on a flat surface and again you might have to play with your temperatures to get your detail nice and crisp. If you find it's starting to spread out too much just drop a click on your hot plate, take it down slightly and just apply your colour. It doesn't particularly matter how you put it on is what you're going to do with it after you've got it on here that matters as long as you've got a nice cover in there now you can use by using your side again you can draw in your shapes you find you're getting a bit low on wax just dip your iron tip in and load up again Being able to see exactly what you're doing gives you much more control and sets you off on the road to further things. There, so you have an A3 landscape done quite comfortably and easily with this lovely heat that you've got coming up underneath to give you that freedom of movement. Encaustic have come into your life some years ago. What's special about Encaustic? Why do you like it? It's a very accommodating medium for my imagination, which is basically the only medium that I can find that my imagination will accept. Yeah. That I can do what I want to, what I see is the only method I can do it is through Encaustic. Is that because you start and the idea unfolds as you go along? That and the techniques and the actual visual content of the pictures. Mm -hmm. You couldn't do it any other way. 